Hello, welcome to Jenna Collins Fitness. Today we are working our full body with an intense 20 minute wall pilates workout. This will help build strength, muscle definition and burn fat. You're going to begin by coming into a semi-seated position resting on your elbows. Place your elbows slightly behind your body and make sure your chest and shoulders remain open. Extend your legs up the wall. Slowly lift them away from the wall towards you. Don't let your upper body hunch towards your legs. It's just your legs doing the work. Now this next exercise is very similar, but this time you're performing a wiper-like movement with your legs. This will really engage your oblique muscles, which are those muscles down the side of your abdominals. Now you're going to lie back with your feet on the wall so your legs are at a right angle. They should be about shoulder width apart. As you raise up, lead with your pelvis and squeeze your glute muscles. Don't push away from the wall with your feet. This will cause you to slide. It's important to keep your core contracted right throughout. Press your lower back into the floor upon return. Perform the arm movement with the pelvis hinge. Okay, remain in the same position for this next exercise. Raise your hips off the ground, leading upwards with your pelvis. Don't push away from the wall. Perform controlled pulse-like movements with your pelvis, keeping it raised off the ground the whole time. This keeps the resistance on your quads, glutes and hamstrings. Once again, you're in the same position with your hips and legs. Push up with your left leg, squeezing your glute. Return back to the floor and press your lower back into the floor. Alternate your legs, bringing them off the wall. Okay, with this next exercise, you're performing almost the same movement, but this time you're going to extend your leg right up and stretch through your thigh right down to your toes.
All right, this exercise, we're extending the right leg up and raise your pelvis off the floor. Hold this position, squeezing your glutes tight and perform small pulses with your pelvis. Keep your pelvis pushed under the whole time. Okay, we're still working the right leg now. Place your left foot on the wall and raise your hips up, extending your right leg. Again, make sure you're pushing upwards with your pelvis and keep it up. Press your lower back into the floor upon return. Okay, now we're repeating the last two exercises with the left leg, starting with the pulses. Okay, and remaining in the same position, you're extending the left leg up and coming all the way back down to the floor. This time I want you to place both feet on the wall at a right angle with feet shoulder width apart. Squeeze your glutes and keep your pelvis pushed forward and back straight. Open your knees slightly, rolling your feet to the sides and return back to the starting position. Now I want you to come into a deep squat facing the wall. It's important to press your thighs and knees back as far as possible. Ideally, they should be in line with your toes. Also, make sure your back is straight and your pelvis is seated right under.
Okay, come into a standing position now and rest your back against the wall. Squat down into a seated right angle position with your back pressed against the wall. Your thighs should be horizontal. Hold this position, keeping your core engaged. With this exercise, slide far enough away from the wall so that you can extend your body all the way up without straining your neck. Keep your glutes squeezed and core contracted. Perform circles with your right leg. Repeat this with the left leg. Now you're going to slide all the way into the wall so your glutes are pressed against it. Lie flat on your back with your arms overhead. While keeping your lower back pressed into the floor, you're going to perform slow controlled crunches reaching towards your ankles. Make sure your abs are squeezed tight and your neck and back are not doing the work. Okay, now you're going to extend your legs up the wall again and keep your hips slightly further out from the wall. Extend your arms above your head and keep your lower back pressed into the floor. Contracting your abs tight, come into a double crunch, bringing your knees into your chest and wrapping your arms around them. Hold for a second, keeping your abs squeezed and then release slowly and controlled back to the starting position. Lie flat and place both feet against the wall so your legs are at a right angle. Press your lower back into the floor. Keeping your abs squeezed, gently move your body from side to side, tapping your ankles. This is a great exercise for both your rectus abdominis and your obliques. Your upper body is raised slightly off the ground right throughout.
Okay, come onto your knees now and place your hands against the wall with your arms outstretched. If you can't put pressure on your knees, then standing is perfectly fine as well. Perform a push-up movement towards the wall, keeping your elbows in close to your body. Don't let your back bend or hunch. Your arms are doing the work here. Okay, remain in the same position for this next exercise. Place your hands against the wall and lean forward, bending at your elbows and extending your right leg out the back. Keeping your legs straight and hip down as much as possible, perform small pulse crunches with this leg. The movement should only be coming from the leg. Don't throw your upper body into it as well. Repeat this with the left leg. Okay, I want you to come into a full plank position now, elbows in line with shoulders. Keep your glutes squeezed and make sure your back and pelvis are straight. Push up and back through your arms leading with your hips. Hold that stretch at the top, keep your legs as straight as you can and lengthen through your spine and arms. Alright, last exercise. Come into a push-up position with your feet pressed against the wall. You're going to walk your hands back towards your feet and simultaneously push your hips upwards and back towards the wall. Walk your hands as close to your feet as possible, then walk back slowly into a push-up position, keeping your back nice and straight. Well done, good workout. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to working out with you in the next one.